Hi friends, so my name is Shelby McVeigh and I'm just going to share a little bit about my story and how I came to CrossFit and how much it has changed my life. So my whole life I've been a very competitive person, I've always wanted to be the best and when I played soccer at a young age I learned that I was not the best at everything. Um, I never started and even when I was put in it was just to give the better players a few minutes of rest before they went back in, but I was part of the team and my team was really good, so that's all that mattered. I loved the trophies that everyone got, the uniforms, um, and all the, the team stuff that goes into that. Um, but it still wasn't enough and I was extremely competitive at school because of this. I thought if I can't be good at sports, then I'm gonna be the smartest. I'm gonna be the best kid in the classroom. And I got 100s on everything, and I was that teacher's pet kid that always bragged about it. And I was very successful in that way. I probably didn't have very many friends because of it, except for other teacher's pets. But I didn't really care because I got 100s, and I did really well. And when I got to middle school and high school, I tried other sports because my dad wanted me to. Because he was very active when he was in school. I tried basketball in 8th grade. Hated it. Uh, and then I tried volleyball towards the end of my high school career, um, and I loved it. Um, the first week of my senior season, though, I blew out my knee and had to have three surgeries. Um, it was very painful. There was a lot of recovery. Um, and for a few years afterwards, I would bike if I felt like blowing off steam, or I would go for long walks or some short runs. But I never really felt fit after playing volleyball. Um, and volleyball was one of the sports that I actually felt like I was successful at um, because you still, even though it was a team sport, you had your little area you had to stay in um, and you were responsible for that area. And so it was kind of personal, but also a team sport. And I loved playing volleyball. And so a few summers after I had my surgeries, some people invited me to play volleyball with them at the beach. And I, I loved playing until this old man, an old man, told me that I sucked and I was horrible at it um, but it was mostly because I was really out of shape I hadn't been conditioning like I had in high school and that was the one sport I felt great at and he told me I sucked so I just gave up and I didn't play for a very long time I gained about 50 pounds before I graduated college um, and after graduating I felt like crap I had no energy I was eating whatever I wanted um, my clothes never fit I was always having to buy baggy clothes or basically sacks um, I didn't like the way I looked um, so after graduating during my first year of teaching I decided to make a change and basically I just used calorie deficit you know burn off more than you eat or eat less than you burn off and I go for really long runs um, if my need wasn't hurting um, and I lost about 45 pounds and after that I hit a major plateau and just stopped losing weight altogether and um, I felt like crap again because nothing was changing um, and I wasn't losing anymore so I just gave up again um, and a few months later um, after, towards the end of my second year of teaching I got an email from Christy Huntley um, saying that um, one of the coaches at her gym wanted to do a boot camp for teachers um, and that was CrossFit Cheer Force, so I, you know, I had nothing else to do in the summer. Um, I was starting grad school, so I had some classes to take, but I needed something to do during the day. Um, and the boot camp was three days a week in the mornings for an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. So I thought, oh, I can do that. You know, I um, can look good by the end of the summer. Um, Y'all, after two to three sessions of fake CrossFit, boot camp CrossFit, wasn't even real CrossFit, I was hooked. It was competitive against the people around you, but you're also competing against yourself. You wanted to be the best you could be, better than you were the day before, and that's what got me hooked. Um, so at the end of the summer, I, I decided to join. I made a ton of new friends, um, and over the last 10 months, I have never felt stronger, both physically and mentally. I have proven myself to myself more times than I can count and I've learned that my only competition is myself my competition is to be better than the person I was yesterday and every time I step into that gym I know someone's going to be there pushing me encouraging me because they believe in me and they see my strength and they want me they genuinely want me to succeed and do well 
And not only does it feel great seeing the changes in myself, but hearing other people come up to you and say how strong you look and how cool it is that you're able to pick up a lot of heavy weights and do all these squats um, and that I don't back down from challenges. You know, that has really um, been the coolest thing that other people see it, not just through my videos that I post all the time because I've become a little bit obsessed with that, but because they see me um, in work or at church or whatever and they just see a difference in me and my confidence and how I feel and how I look. And I've also been able to use my learnings from my failures with my students because we discuss a lot how important it is to not give up and to keep trying. And they watch all my videos and I've even shown them all my failure videos because I show them that um, just like, you know, your brain is a muscle and just like Miss McVeigh has to teach her muscles how to pick up a 225 pound weight for a deadlift, I, I can't just go up and do that the first time. They have to work on training their brains to do things that they're not normally able to do. And so we have to keep practicing in order to be successful. And that's something that I've had to teach myself because I'm one of those people that I want to be successful the first time I try something. I want to be good at everything. I'm very competitive in that way. And so doing CrossFit has definitely taught me that that's not the truth. That's not the case. You have to keep practicing to get better. So I'm very thankful for CrossFit, the family it's given me, the fun it's given me. Um, I'm able to push myself to do other things and I have so much more functional fitness like helping people move or um, just being able to go on long hikes with people or just do fun things that I couldn't do before because I was so out of shape. So I'm extremely thankful to CrossFit Cheer Force for giving me that chance, for believing in me and cheering me on every single day. You guys are the best.